Okay, Manuka honey, you guys, I'm in New Zealand and I'm literally looking at the Manuka tree right out there. It's just, it's in the backdrop. This is Julie. Kia ora. From, from BNZ, that was special. <laughs> I love that. I don't think I've ever heard that the whole time that I've been here. Oh, well, you'll hear it lots. You'll hear it lots. Okay, <laughs> that's awesome. Um, so she's from B&Z from uh, this company, which I absolutely love and adore. The only Manuka honey that I will source from. So um, first off, just I, some of you guys have asked questions about local honey versus Manuka honey and what's the difference. And so... Um, this isn't to replace your local honey because it definitely has some benefits there at home, but Manuka honey has special bioactive properties. Um, and so as this relates to your health um, from skin issues to eczema to psoriasis to also gut health and um, it, as they work as anti-inflammatories, antibacterials, oral health. So, um, and we'll go through a little bit of uh, maybe the different UMF grades from mm -hmm. five to 20, just so that you can see what would work for you. But this has been amazing on my gut. I recently had a um, bacterial infection in my um, entire intestinal tract. And like, this was a staple in my healing process, not only during, but then I had to take antibiotics. So also recovery process. It was like, I was superwoman after taking this. But anyways, let's go through what kind of properties Manuka honey has okay. um, as opposed to local honey too. Absolutely. So mm -hmm. Manuka is an indigenous honey to New Zealand. And in the 80s, extensive scientific research was done to prove what were the special qualities and characteristics of Manuka. So it's been found to have amazing bioactives. So it acts in um, antibacterial, um, a little bit of anti-inflammatory, anti-immunity bioactives that are just adding to all that goodness in a honey. So mm -hmm. not only is it a natural sweetener, mm -hmm. it has those extra benefits as well. Right, of course, it's super yummy, right? Yeah. And then um, also just those added health benefits, the higher you go with the UMF grade. So let's talk a little bit about the UMF, but just to bring awareness to um, the fact that there's so much counterfeit honey out there too, that it is really important. Um, if you want Manuka honey to source genuine Manuka honey, and how do you know if it's genuine? It's that UMF certification right there because it could only be packed in New Zealand and then shipped out, and then that's when it gets the UMF certification. Um, others you might see MGO, or you might see just, I don't even know what else is um, out there. Pollen but... counts, K factors, different mm -hmm. different grading systems okay. that other companies may choose to use. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, only trust the UMF. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And so let's talk about that. Uh, we have on BNZ's website, we have 510. 15 and 20 so can you just touch on um, so if somebody's new to Manuka and they're wondering what grade do I get um, I guess like my first questions would be like what are you here for right do you want to just include it as a part of just your consistent maintenance or um, also a different flavor of honey and unique um, or do you are you coming here and saying I have acid reflux or I have gastritis which could be your like 20 UMF so let's talk about that correct yep so UMF stands for unique manuka factor so anything to have a UMF grading um, it needs a release certificate um, under that grading so we undergo four chemical marker tests, natural chemical marker tests found in honey, um, A to prove it's Manuka honey for starters, must be packed in New Zealand, and then we also check the DHA for its freshness, um, HMF and the um, leptospermum, which is a species of plant that's mm -hmm. come from. So to get your UMF release certificate, you really need to undergo a rigorous testing of each production batch High of honey. <laughs> standards here. Yeah. Okay, so then... And then our number grading, a mm -hmm. 5, 10, 15, 20, indicates sort of the potency of the honey. So the level of anti... Or, um, bioactives that are in that production mm -hmm. batch of honey. So our 5 plus is the lower end of our UMF grading. So yes, it's genuine Manuka honey. It's been packed in New Zealand and it has that lower end of bioactives. So brilliant for every day so yeah just re replace all your other sugars that's your natural natural sugar mm -hmm. honey great for everyday use um so you're then, getting a yeah. little bit of the health benefits that are more powerful than that of a local honey and Correct. so yeah if Correct. you consistently use it maybe like we did clams and um or sorry they're you know different here but uh yeah. shellfish essentially and like a little bit of honey so it great 
brings you variety into your diet as well as um, just, you know, having those little antibacterial properties. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Well said. And then <laughs> we move up to 10-15. So 10-15, um, we take every day. It's your just that little bit of boost. Mm -hmm. So um, particularly if you're coming into like cold and flu season, that 10-15 plus just gives you that extra. 15 plus is what I would take if I had a... was feeling like I was having a sore throat mm -hmm. or, you know, an ulcer in your mouth or, or mm -hmm. something and just a generally unwell, upset tummy, mm -hmm. 15 definitely. And then your 20 can be used for everything, but that's your high end. Mm -hmm. So most Kiwi families will have a 20 plus in their cupboard mm -hmm. and it'll be used everywhere from sore throats, mm -hmm. upset tummies to wounds to mm -hmm. cuts, abrasions and burns. Um, yeah. So topically the 20 plus is an amazing healer mm -hmm. as well. And also I was using the 20 UMF to get through my um, uh, my gut bacterial mm. infection that was like inflamed my entire colon, but this was like, oh my gosh, it saved the day. So definitely 20 UMF is like first aid, <laughs> um, really <laughs> powerful healing. And if you're coming off of antibiotics, like I would highly, highly recommend that. Or if you're just struggling with gut health in general, this is an amazing thing to include in your diet. So not only do you have Manuka honey in the mm -hmm. different levels of UMF, but another one that I absolutely love is Kanuka honey. And this is more of a topical, I use it as face mask, I use it as my hair mask, and also super yummy. It's sweeter than this. So did you want it to talk is. a little yeah. bit about this? So like Lindsay said, a little sweeter tasting than the Manuka. Mm -hmm. Manuka is quite a mineral taste. Um, so yeah, sweeter tasting for those that prefer that. But Kanuka has been proven to have anti-inflammatory properties. So our Manuka is antibacterial. Mm -hmm. Kanuka anti-inflammatory. So like you said, it's amazing in face masks mm -hmm. and skin conditions, but really great um, eating as well and anti-inflammatory for your mm -hmm. other issues that you may have going on internally. But yeah, a really good pick and proving really popular in the States. They yeah. like the taste. I think we're going to... Maybe do a face mask tonight. Oh, yes, yeah. we are, aren't we? That's right, we are. Yeah. <laughs> a little we yogurt will. and some honey. <laughs>